what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today we're finally getting into this lace application adhesive type of series so today i'm going to attempt to put on my wig with this style factor edge booster fitting gel um it says that the whole power out of five is five so yeah i ordered this from amazon um, I haven't seen it anywhere else. I haven't seen it in the beauty supplies or anything like that. So, um, I was just searching for different adhesives and some you guys actually, um, <clears throat> recommended that I try and have a video up of. So this is one of them. So we're just going to make it happen, Captain. Once I get this tape off here. So like I said, I got it from Amazon. Um, I don't remember the price, but once I get a chance, I will add this into my Amazon store if you guys uh, want to purchase this. <clears throat> Keep in mind that all of, um, for the most part, uh, the things that I do videos on or that are my like essential products that I use in all of my videos, I do add them to my Amazon store. If I am missing something for some reason, make sure you just comment below, let me know, and I will add it to the Amazon store. Because you know, some people, they want to get it to the, from the same exact seller that I got it from or whatever it may be. So, Fitting Gel creates a strong hold and shiny look with natural coconut oil and peppermint oil. It nourishes and hydrates while providing a solid hold. Um, Squeeze a small amount onto hands and apply it on dry to damp hair. So this actually is supposed to be a styler, but we're finna try and apply this wig with it. So let me open it up. And it does, it smells like the coke, the white, the white edge booster. That's exactly what it smells like. So, um, and before we get into the application process, this hair that I have in is Lavy Hair. Um, this is their Malaysian Deep Curly Hair, and I have a frontal wig. It is a 13 by 6 frontal wig. So actually, let me take it off so you guys can see. Um, the frontal goes back all the way 6 inches, but then around the edges part, it's probably about 2 inches. It's a little wet, so i got to be careful because I'm fleeing water all over the place. I have 18 inches of the deep curly hair. Um, I have a medium cap size. Medium is usually about um, 21.5 to 22.5, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So that's the circumference of my head. The circumference of my head is 22 inches. And of course the color, I mean, of course the wig came in the 1B hair color. So. I don't have any clips. I don't have any of my normal hair tools. So bear with me. Y'all know I just moved and got a lot going on. So like I said, bear with me. So I just cut off the little extra pieces of, of, of lace that's like underneath this little flap here. So I am going to first push that back if you guys see me looking down here my mirror is down here i'm gonna push the lace back and i'm gonna grab some of the fitting gel and i'm gonna put some on my finger um and it's kind of like a sticky consistency i'm just gonna add some of that to my edges first because my little sideburns love to stick out while i'm trying to put on a wig so i'm gonna apply that first I'm going to take my baby hair brush and brush them back and tuck them under the wig cap. Like so. Do the same thing to the other side. All right, so I'm actually pretty nervous. Um, I'm not even sure what to do, so... I guess let's just get into it. I'm going to basically just try to do the same method I would do with like got to be glued or something like that. So I'm gonna pull this down and kind of measure up, make sure everything is measuring up correctly. Okay, 
my hair i mean my shirt is like soaking wet from this hair it's like dripping everywhere um wow so i'm going to put some of the edge booster fitting gel on my finger and i'm just gonna lay it across like i said i would do the any other adhesive that i normally do and i like to do the middle first so i don't even know if i'm putting enough like let's see we'll just see so then i'm gonna take my blow dryer and i'm gonna do it on cool Oh wow, so like while I'm blow drying, I can see it, it's kind of, it kind of got a little tacky. So I'm just gonna pull it down. May not have to like mess with this as much as you do like the got to be glued and stuff like that. So I'm kind of just like pushing the lace into the fitting gel that I did put down in the middle and it kind of feels like it's sticking i mean i don't really know what to think right now and i'm gonna continue on to the next side if this is all i have to do for this fitting gel got to got to be glued might have just been canceled like because this is so quick and it's not as messy because you know what got to be glued i like to use the free spray and using the free spray um it can get really messy really quick like really sticky along with like spritz and everything else like those other methods those are like the quickest ones but they get like i said really messy so if this works it's lit hello hey girl, hey hey what you doing my hair what you doing Girl, I just finished watching the Haves and the Have Nots. Did you watch it? No! Oh my God, y'all need to get it together. Oh my, it's so much. Oh, dang. Don't, don't tell me. Oh, well, that's what I wanted. Okay, don't, then we can't talk then. Bye. Bye. Sorry, y'all. My friends know my favorite show, Have and Have Nots. Okay, so I put it on there. I laid it over. The style factor, and I'm finna get it popping with the blow dryer. And like right now, I can't really tell because it's like tacky. Like, I guess, like, it's peeling up a little bit. So I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to tie it down a little bit and we'll see if that makes a difference, like if it has to fully dry. So let me do the other side and then we're going to tie it down and see what it do. Because like it's like I feel it is tacky, but like the more I touch it, the more it comes up. So I'm just going to do the other side and maybe it got to like dry completely. And my camera is about to die, so perfect timing. Let me pull this lace down here like that. Make sure they're all, I mean, all the lace is in the correct spot. And I'm going to grab my bandana. My bandana is like my new favorite method of helping lay down my lace. It just works like amazing. So you tie down and tie it in the back and when i tie it down i make sure i get the sides as well just make sure everything is still laying correctly and i'm gonna let this sit for a little bit i'm gonna change my battery and stuff 
I'm going to put the rest of the hair into a ponytail until I feel like it's dried. And I shall be back. So I really hope that my mic has been on this whole time. If not, I will have a voiceover in the beginning and me talking now because I just realized my mic was off. But I hope I really turned it off when I walked away and not before the fact. Oh, I'm finna get so mad. But okay, so I just took off the scarf and like I was saying before you guys could hear me, um, it was a little tacky and I have a little crusty right here. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's sticking, so I'm finna cut the lace and see what happens. Just cutting it zigzag like normal. Hmm. This is really interesting. So this side didn't do as well as the other side, but I'm gonna apply some more and see what happens. Like it's coming up a little bit right here. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's on there. Got like a little white cast a little bit, like right here. But like I said, this is interesting. I'm gonna take some more, stick it on the tip top of my comb. And I'm gonna apply it and kind of drag it down and then go in with the dryer. Okay, so that actually did work, tacking down the rest. So I'm gonna go in with this um, washcloth I have and I'm gonna spray it with water and kind of try to take off the extra product that's causing that little white cast. So it is coming off with the water I might have to zoom in a little bit more for you guys to see, but that definitely worked like really well. Okay. This is scary. Since that worked, I'm finna use some more of the fitting gel. I'm gonna take down this ponytail. And I'm going to, like, this looks really good without baby hairs. But I'm going to add, like, a little bit because we're using Style Factor. And Style Factor, y'all know that's my go-to for my edges. So I'm going to add a little bit onto my baby hair brush. And just, you know, add a little something, something. Nothing too much, just a little something something. And I'm using both sides of the brush, the comb part and the brush part, just to get the look I'm going for. And like I said, I don't want too many baby hairs cause this wig looks fine without them. But y'all know I ain't mean if I don't do baby hairs. I'm going to have some installs without baby hairs anyway. So if you do not like baby hairs, just skip this part. But if you do, this is for you. But like I said, I'm of course going to have some inst like an install without baby hairs. You know, because everybody don't like baby hairs. <laughs> And 
up here i'm not really going for the baby hair look i kind of just want it to look laid if that makes sense and you can always go back add more so now that that is finished i'm going to spray some water around the edge area i think i want to do like a pull back wet look type of thing bear with me because i don't really know where i'm going with this i'm going to take add some more water and i'm going to tie this bandana back around the edges just so that i don't pull anything up while i'm tugging on the hair and just brush all that I can back. And I'm kind of going to do like, not half up, half down, but like, I'm just grab a good amount of the top portion like that. I'm going to go in with my slick back brush and actually slick this up or back rather. I don't really know if this is going to look the way I want it to. So... I'm going to tie it away first, like literally in the middle of my head back here, and untie the bandana. Okay, so honestly, I'm kind of iffy about this one because I did this hairstyle or whatever and then I took it off and like this side stayed but this side was having like technical difficulties and then once I actually took the scarf off it was kind of like another white cast so you have to be really careful with this um I'm finna take off the scarf again to see what it's looking like yeah, like I was having problems with this ear tab over here, but I don't know if you guys can see there's some somewhat of a white cast like right here. So I'm going to go back in with the little towel and some water and try to get that out of there. And I'm kind of just like dabbing it in there. It is working, but I feel like this would be more so for the people who are into glueless installs because with a glueless install it doesn't really have to be down down it just needs to be kind of on there for this type of install i just feel like this this um fitting gel really wouldn't be a good idea i personally probably would use this fitting gel more so for like a like a edge type of product so like I don't use the got to be glued black gel for anything except for to do the edges on my wig so i probably would use the fitting gel for that but for actually applying the wig i don't know like i said for the people who like glueless installs this would probably be probably be for you like for like the little ear tabs that keep coming up and stuff like that something like lightweight that's gonna stick um but for a whole frontal i don't think this is ideal now for hold out of five i would give this a two um because like i said it holds the edges but as far as the frontal like if i was to use this let me say this if i was to use this for a frontal install i would probably spray some got to be glued on there after like i wouldn't just do it with just this product because i feel like you sweat a little bit and it's gonna be out of there you're gonna look like a hot mess smell five because i love the way all style factor edge boosters smell um it doesn't smell like any type of glue like there's any type of elmers or anything like that because a lot of adhesives and lace stuff smells like straight back to school elmers glue like and i'm not getting that vibe from this product overall performance i feel like it did okay but like i probably give it a three like because the smell is what really got me but as far as the hold and everything else i'm not really feeling it um like i said this uh ear tab right here want to come up so bad um like this side looks really good honestly truly i don't know like 
let me know what y'all think in the comment section like i said i personally would not use this but you guys wanted me to try it so here i am this is what it is um it does not look bad for me to actually have the hair pulled back um but i do feel like the edges being laid down is what's keeping it together like what's keeping it snatched right now um but yeah let me know what y'all think in the comment section um i will leave all the hair information and details in the description box as well um and make sure you guys if you do purchase from lavy hair use the code lexus for ten dollars off of your purchase uh, but i love you guys and i will see you in the next one Mwah.